So at last we get to the Cuirassier. So in the English Civil War, there were a few regiments, but very limited usage. So if you're doing it for the English Civil War, you're probably going to want fewer numbers of these on the table. However, if you're fighting the Thirty Years' War Continental, uh, then you've got more scope for larger regiments. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and leave some comments down below of things you'd like to see in the future. So with these miniatures, I started off with a black base coat, and then from there we work our way up, starting off with the reds of the plumes and sashes, and we're using System Freeze Crimson Red for this. As I've mentioned, um, I think in one of my other videos, this is a craft paint from the warehouse uh, here in New Zealand. Um, it's not a miniature paint, but it actually does a pretty good job. So yeah, don't turn your, your nose up to them. Uh, next up we're using Silver from Game Color. This is probably one of my favorite sort of metallic colors. It flows very nicely on the miniature. Uh, it doesn't dry out fast, it's just very nice to use. Uh, some of the source material do show the Crassiers with sort of black painted armour, uh, so that's an option that you can go for also. Uh, on the miniatures there are leather pouches, and scabbards, etc. like that. I use leather brown from Game Colour for those also. Now just carry on doing a little bit of their armour here. If you think at this stage perhaps the silver is too much, uh, give it a bit of time, wait until we put the wash on at a later stage because that will dull it down and really give them a nice finish. So I find it's always good to start off bright because we can always take it back. Then for the saddle uh, furniture, uh, we used Magic Blue to do that and that stands out quite nicely against the rest of the miniature. And now here we're still using the uh, silver, and we're doing the barrels of their weapons, scabbards, any of the horse uh, bits, and that sort of thing. Uh, anything that's metal, basically, hit it with the silver. And although there's not a huge amount of flesh showing on these miniatures, uh, some of them do have their faces exposed, so I've just used Tamiya flat flesh for that, and that'll do the job quite nicely. Although with Tamiya, do remember that it does dry out quite quickly, so you need to keep it moist, um, either using flow improver or water. At this stage, we apply the dark brown wash all over the miniatures. Dry brush the horses with a dark brown, and then we'll go back over the miniatures using the original colours to do the highlighting. And overall, I think we've got a pretty good look that come out nicely. And you can see how the metal has dulled down by just putting that wash over the top of them. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy. I think the blue stands out very nicely and gives them a nice contrasty look. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it useful. Uh, please like and subscribe, and leave some comments down below. Till next time, take care.